earthquakes take a prominent place in the Bible. I'm gonna tell you about that today. Theologians, pastors, however you decide to call them, have noted that earthquakes are a sure sign of God's judgment. On Tuesday, an earthquake with a magnitude of 3.5 was felt across some sections of Kingston and St. Andrew. The earthquake unit in Jamaica said the epicenter of the quake was reported approximately seven kilometers north of Golden Spring, St. Andrew. On Thursday, 48 hours after an earthquake with preliminary magnitude of 3.1 reported rock parts of the corporate area and was located 10 kilometers south of Buff Bay in Portland. Reports also said the intensity could also be felt in sections of Kingston and St. Andrew. So my people, what is happening? The signs have become clear. Earthquakes are the surest sign of God's judgment. And there is a reason for this. While numerous natural disasters provide advance notice of their arrival, earthquakes strike without any warning whatsoever. Take a note of that. They suddenly strike, they rattle the earth, they topple houses, businesses, mega structures, then disappear, perhaps with a few aftershocks. Remember, God said in his words, come as a thief in the night, but he warns you to the prophets. Remember when God is dispensing justice, he warns, but when it happens, it comes like a thief in the night. You just do not know when it is going to happen. There are several fearsome scriptures showing how God visits the earth in earthquakes. From Isaiah, it says, The Lord Almighty will come with thunder and earthquake and great noise with windstorm and tempest and flames of a devouring fire. We could go on to Psalms 114.7, which says, Tremble earth as the presence of the Lord, at the presence of God of Jacob could go to Nahum chapter 1 and 5 where it says the mountains quake before him and the hills melt away the earth trembles at his presence the world and all who live in it and I want to read Isaiah 29 6 you are inspected by Yahuwah of hosts with thunder and with an earthquake and great noise windstorm and whirlwind and flame of devouring fire some of scripture's most notable occasions jamaica are marked with earthquakes the first time and the first thing i want to mention is moses and the earthquake at mount sinai see as the israelites watched moses ascended sinai they were struck with the awesome fear of god Moses was on a journey to retrieve the Ten Commandments as he climbed upward. Most of you remember the story. Darkness enveloped the mountain, the land rolled with violence, and tons of lightning pierced the air. All that looked on were consumed with the awesome fear of God. So what is the meaning of the earthquake? This earthquake was showing the Israelites the importance of God's words. He was giving them indisputable testimony that he was one with the word and that the Israelites should always be careful to obey it. Jamaica, Jamaica. As I conclude, I want to ask again, why does God identify with earthquakes? Well, when you consider God's relationship with other facets of nature, like hurricanes and tsunamis, whatever it is, you will discover he has taken charge of all the elements. If you look in Job 37, 9 to 13, it discloses this when it says the tempest comes from its chamber, the coal from the driving winds, the breath of God produces ice, and the broad waters become frozen. In verse 11, he loads the cloud with moisture. He scatters his lightning through them. At his direction, the swirl around over the face of the whole earth to do what ever he commands them he brings the clouds to punish people or to water his earth and show his love so you understand why does god identify with the earthquakes so yes god is in the earthquake 
he's in it to control it in sovereignty he would loose its menacing fury and in his sovereignty he expels its wrath jamaica jamaica wake up i say because the earthquakes are god's surest warning of judgment to come remember to like share and subscribe i'll see you next time